All right, gotta break out the holiday I had for this one. Much better. All right, so the matrix resurrections the matrix resurrections is the fourth installment of the matrix franchise which was made famous back in the early 2000s the movie picks up sometime after the matrix revolutions which features neo or thomas anderson played by keanu reeves thomas anderson is a famous video game designer who created the matrix trilogy video game series that took the world by storm and gave him his fame and the main character of the video game franchise he created is very strikingly similar to himself thomas is starting to feel unfulfilled and doubtful about his every day life he does the same thing every single day he goes to therapy every day his day-to-day -day life is just not very interesting and it feels like he's stuck in a loop but that changes one day when he runs into a woman named tiffany who feels strikingly familiar for some reason he and tiffany have some sort of weird connection like he's met her before this sends thomas on a whirlwind that triggers some things from his past and some unexpected visitors who reveal who he truly is we have our movie that was one of the most difficult synopses i've ever had to give because wow this movie can be very confusing when it comes to the matrix resurrection overall i enjoyed the movie and i think fans of the franchise will have some fun here the action was solid getting acclimated to the characters was a ton of fun and the performances were quite good across the board having said that this movie grinds to a screeching halt in the second half to the point where it really dragged down my experience pretty significantly my timeline for the movie goes like this the first act was fun exciting and got me really pumped for the rest of the movie the second act was painfully slow and dull at a lot of its meat and the third act was mixed where it was slow at some points but fun in the others not to mention it got really confusing and it will likely alienate audiences who are not familiar with the matrix franchise at all because there are so many references made to the original trilogy let's start with what i really enjoyed about this movie there were some solid performances from this cast there's really no one main character i can point to and say that they didn't have a great performance between keanu reeves carrie ann moss jada pinkett smith yaya abdul Duel Mateen II, Jessica Henwick, Jonathan Groff, Neil Patrick Harris, all of them gave their all in this movie. And you just see them put in work. And I think that made for the most appealing parts of the movie. Their interactions with each other oozed and brought about a certain vigor and passion that contributed to the goals of their characters, which ultimately made everything super believable and got you invested. And speaking of the characters, this movie had some very fun introductions to said characters. Obviously, the first act is where you get most of the introduction for most of the characters. And each of these introductions is done quite well. Each of them has a purpose. The movie does a great job of explaining what that purpose is, where they're coming from, what their origin is, and it does so in strong detail without being too drawn out and boring you to tears. And by the time we get to the end of that first act, we understand ultimately why they're there, what their purpose is. It's fun, exciting, and done really well in service of this movie. Also, there's some really solid action in The Matrix Resurrections. The Matrix has action in its DNA, and it's carried forward quite well in this fourth installment. Most of the action comes in the first in the third acts and it features some very fast-paced hand-to-hand combat with a little bit of gunplay in between. The hand-to-hand -hand combat especially was fantastic and I think the cinematography, the way the camera was positioned really helped in that regard. When you see Neo or Keanu Reeves throwing hands with Jonathan Groff's character who's Agent Smith, it's super engaging, it's hardcore, and it's fast-paced. It also looks painful as hell when these characters are just eating punches and hands from each other. On the other side of that, when Yaya Abdul-Mateen II who plays as Morpheus and Jessica Henwick are doing their hand-to-hand -hand combat, they have a certain certain swagger and style about their fighting that makes it appealing to watch. And they even bring a little bit of grace to it too, which helps in that regard. And the last thing I liked about this movie, it attempts at having some meaningful conversation and brings up some interesting questions without going too far down the rabbit hole. Part of the matrix is this idea of living in the same loop over and over again. You know, the classic nine to five, you wake up, you go to work, you come home, you do it every day, all day long. And the movie kind of poses, are humans just blindly living this way because they crave that certainty? They know what they're going to do each day or or would they benefit more of breaking outside that loop and becoming more adventurous? Could they truly benefit from thinking outside the box or does comfort outweigh that need? Additionally, this idea about love is actually brought up at a couple points in the movie too, but it's done so really subtly. Questions like how powerful is love? Does it truly conquer all? These two main themes are brought up at several points and I did appreciate them for what they were, which are just quick, subtle nods to overarching ideas in a movie. And I also appreciate the fact that the movie didn't attempt to go too far deep with these conversations if it did, I think it would have already added to the really long run times, and I don't think I would have wanted to stick around any longer than that. So if it added more to those conversations, it would have just dragged the entire movie down. I would be okay if they chose to elevate those conversations, but they'd really have to take a lot out of that second act in order for me to get on board with that. However, what did I not like so much about this movie? This movie can be really confusing for fans old and new. Myself, I am a fan of the Matrix franchise, and I have seen all the movies from the original trilogy. Having said that, even though I'm a fan, and 
and I've seen the movies, I found myself being quite confused at various points throughout the movie. And if I'm confused as someone who's knowledgeable on the Matrix, I can't imagine what it would be like if I knew nothing and I went in and saw this movie. If you've never seen any of the previous Matrix movies, you'll likely be confused because the movie commits its greatest crime here, which is an over-reliance on the audience having seen previous movies of the franchise in order to understand the current one. Because there's many flashbacks and references made to the original trilogy. And without having seen the original trilogy, I don't think a lot of this movie's major moments would have a ton of weight because there's that need to have a previous knowledge, which I think is just unfair. And that in and of itself could cause you to just kind of check out entirely because it's really hard to understand what's going on. And if that's you, I don't blame you at all, it's not your fault. Because in my opinion, at the end of the day, good movies do not make you have to watch previous source material in order to understand its current state. Nothing alienates audiences more, and I think the movie's box office will suffer because of that, among other reasons. Also, this movie was way too on the nose. There's many moments in The Matrix Resurrections that do what I call breaking the fourth wall, which is just having references to the outside world that we're currently living in. And this really can catch you off guard and actually take you out of the movie at some points. And I don't typically mind movies going for that sort of gag if they're looking to just be really subtle with it and grab a couple of good laughs. But the manner in which The Matrix Resurrections does this is way too obvious, no subtlety whatsoever. And making meta moments like that land very well is difficult because you have to do it subtly or else it just becomes a distraction. Which at the end it wasn't done well so it was really distracting for me and I didn't really enjoy those moments because of it. And lastly, this movie was way too boring and dull for way too long. Like I said, I split this movie up into three acts and that second act was so boring and dull that it's significantly hurt my experience. I'll go so far as to say that it made the two hours, 28 minute runtime feel like three hours. I think the reason why I felt so strongly was because the first act was super engaging. It was a lot of fun and it started off really strongly. And when you go from an incredible act like that first one to the second one, which was the complete opposite, it can make that feel even longer. It's kind of like when you go to a theme park and you ride the best roller coaster first, and then you ride the worst roller coaster second, that second roller coaster is going to feel even worse than it normally would because you had such a great start. Basically, when the introductions of all the characters in this first act end, this movie transitions into the state of explaining the world and explaining the universe in which the movie is taking place. And that's where it drags and it drags and it drags for so long that you'll probably end up checking your watch at some point because it's filled with nothing but uninteresting dialogue between characters, more confusing plot lines that again refer to the previous trilogy, which to me again is a big no-no. Friends, at the end of the day, I'm gonna have to give this movie a five and a half out of 10 it was fine and that is my first half score that I've ever given for a movie review so take that for what you will friends have you seen the matrix resurrections if so what you think of it you know where the comment section is let me know thanks so much for watching another bankrupt hippo movie review if you like this click right here if you'd like to see more I've been Bryce and until next time happy holidays everybody